Hello again. I want to talk about a rather clever trick which has been pulled on us all and caused us to believe that black people of African ancestry are in some sense a global majority. I need not mention how many black people we see in advertisements and so on. The reason being that this symbolises the fact that from a global perspective there are more black people than white in the world. The problem with this though is that it's not really true. There are roughly as many white people in the world as there are black Africans and people of black African ancestry and it isn't all that hard to do the sums. The truth is we've had the wall pulled over our eyes a little. We've been bounced into believing that there are loads more black people than there are white and for that reason that it's somehow reasonable that we should take a back seat to the so-called global majority. Fewer than one-eighth of the people in the world are black African or of black African origin. They are a small minority of the world's population and yet are treated as though they were in some way an overwhelming majority and a force to be reckoned with. Let's look at the figures. I'm not going to give any references or links to these because it's easy enough to check up this all on the internet or in standard reference books. To begin with, there are now 8 billion people on Earth, that is 8,000 million. Of these people, 1.4 billion live in Africa. That's 1,400 uh, million. But wait a moment. Africa is a big continent and not everybody living there is black. Take Egypt, where uh, roughly 104, 105 million people live. And they are black. So straight away, that's 10% of Africa that's not black. Actually, only 80% of Africans are black, which amounts to 1.12 billion or 1,120 million. In America, there's another 40 million black people of African origin and a few million more in the Caribbean, a small number in Europe. Even in this country, the numbers taken uh, from a worldwide perspective are tiny, so say a million or two. In the whole world, there are just under 1.2 billion people of black African ancestry, which is about an eighth of the world's population. What about white folk? Well, in Europe, there are 750 million white people, which is about three quarters of a billion. In the United States, there are over 200 million white people and another 35 million or so in Canada. Then there's 25 million in Australia. All told, there are over a billion white people in the world of European ancestry, and you can add another few million scattered around in other countries. It's not hard to see that if people of black African ancestry do outnumber those whose family origins lie in Europe, it's certainly not by a wide margin. It's quite a close run race, as you might say. The real question we must ask ourselves is why we have allowed ourselves to be deceived in this way. Why have we drifted into a situation where black people are presented as a great majority in the world, when in reality seven-eighths of the world's people are not black, and there are almost as many white people as there are black? This, after all, is the rationale behind an awful lot of what we are seeing today when people talk about a global perspective and so on. All that really means is that people of black African origin are given preference over others. Why? Why should this small minority of the world's population be given the leading role? Have they done anything to deserve this? What's going on here? I know that viewers will be aware that the genuine global majority, those who are neither white European nor black African, seldom get a look in when we're talking about diversity or demonstrating on our television screens and so on. All that diversity means is that that eighth of the world's population who have black African ancestry have to be showcased. Why are they special? 
who has elevated them to this position above the genuine global majority. I shall be addressing this point in future videos.